Um, I painted my first wall in 1994, um, which is about two years after I had seen my first graffiti piece. Um, in Cork at the time, there wasn't really any graffiti scene, or none that I was aware of at the time anyway. And um, I saw my first piece in the back of National Geographic magazine, and it was a piece from LA that said uh, City of Fallen Angels. So I'd never seen it before and I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. And um, I, around the same time I started getting into hip hop as well and listening to that music. So the two of them kind of seemed to add up really. Um, so I practiced a little bit first with like pencil and paper and stuff. And then um, eventually I went out with, with my brother and a friend and we, we did a very basic outline piece. Um, Kev did a K and Ed did an E and I did a C. And we did it down along, um, there was a new motorway near where we were living that they were building. So it was kind of like stretches and stretches and stretches of walls, but the, the motorway hadn't been opened yet. So it was like the perfect blank canvas for us. So that was the first piece that we did. It's just a simple black outline. I went to art college in 1998. It was just after I got in touch with everyone from, from Dublin. Um, up until that point, I'd only been interested in graffiti, and I, I knew that that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I wanted to continue. Um, I wanted to—I didn't know much about the art world or about modern art or contemporary art, but I knew that I wanted to kind of take graffiti, um, take it not just off the walls and into the gallery, but just kind of take it in a new direction. Really, I wasn't sure what that direction would be. So I went to art college, and it was a bit of a huge eye opener for me because. Um, I was exposed to modern art and contemporary art and this was something that I really knew very little about. So at first it was a bit difficult because um, I just wanted to do graffiti. And, um, but I really got into pop art because I guess with pop art it's the closest thing um, that graffiti relates to in, in modern art. And I got, in, I got more interested in, mo in mark making and seeing what, um, what sort of a, a mark a spray can can make. Because I guess within contemporary painting, spray paint at the time anyway, it, wasn't very, it wouldn't have been a popular medium. So um, I felt I really had to make the most of it. Um, also at the time, my tutors weren't too enthusiastic about what I was doing. Um, this, was only, this would have only been about seven or eight years ago, but so much has changed in the last seven or eight years. There's so many artists, I guess, of my generation, um, like all the artists that are exhibiting here, who have kind of come out of art college and have, you know, have taken graffiti and have tried to push it into a, into a, um, in a new direction. This has forced me to kind of not change what I do, but it's forced me to kind of reconsider what I do. For the last year and a half, I've been working with soldiers quite a lot. Well, they're not real soldiers, they're reenactors, and that's what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in depicting um, real wars or real violence or real soldiers. It's, these are all reenactors. I see parallels between these reenactors and hip hop culture as well, how hip hop culture is kind of built on, um, on, on bragging and it's built on bling and it's built on kind of trying to elevate your status uh, beyond reality, really. Um, which I think is very like what the reenactors do, and so also in this piece, I've had to kind of, I've had to add in other elements. I wanted to do I wanted to do a battle scene because it's stretched. It kind of made sense to to do some sort of a battle scene, but I didn't really want to do a very obvious um, depiction. So I've included a bull, which is the first time that I've worked with animals, and uh, there's so many mythical connotations with bulls in both kind of Greek and in Greek mythology and in, in Irish mythology as well. I've been working with this bull again as the symbol of power, and I think the bull collapsing is like how the mighty have fallen, you know, all things come to an end, um, and that's particularly why I've been interested in these type of reenactors because they symbolize the British Empire. And I'm very interested in that idea of empire kind of coming from Ireland, and we've been We've been victims of colonialism. For the last few years, I've become more and more interested in the abstract element of my work. It's always been there, but it's always kind of taken a back seat. Whereas lately, I've been trying to push it a lot more. So I've developed this abstract language by employing tagging and kind of graffiti scrawls and scrapes. It's kind of like deconstruction. It's going right back to the fundamentals of graffiti. And the very first things that I was doing was tagging. And I think tagging is, um, Tagging is kind of like in music where you, where you learn your scales. That's what tagging is like because it, it kind of hones your craft, just practicing very basic um, signature. Um, I'm not too sure how much I've got to do yet, but I think I'm about three quarters of the way there. I've been working on it for about six or seven days. 
and I've almost finished what I set out to do, but I've got a few days left, so hopefully I'll stretch out to the, to the edges of the wall by opening night.